Guys, stop for a minute. Take a look at your wallet. Your wallet says a lot about you. Now let me ask you a question. Is it time for an upgrade? Our friends at Ridge are here to help you step up your pocket game. This incredible wallet is light, sleek, and industrial, but it doesn't fold or awkwardly bulge out of your back pocket. It goes into your front pocket. Ridge wallets, pull up to 12 cards, plus all the cash that you need. You can choose from over 30 colors and styles. That includes carbon fiber and burnt titanium. It is the best wallet you can buy, and you don't just have to take my word for it because there's over 40,000 five-star reviews. I was skeptical at first, but once I tried it, I never went back, and I'm sure you won't, but guys, there's no pressure. Test it out for 45 days. If you don't love it, send it back, get a full refund. If you decide to keep it, and you will, there's a lifetime warranty. Go to ridge.com slash jail, or just click the link in the description below and get 10% off with free worldwide shipping and returns. Chemayev versus Burns. Guys, where should we begin? Like, thinking of a word to describe how much I valued and appreciated a fight. I've appreciated fights before. Have I ever valued one? Remarkable? Could be a, a good word. It was very hard. Now, don't forget the setup, okay? Dana gave us a real treat, which was he told us what happens to the winner. The winner is going to go into a mega fight on ABC, right, network television opposite Colby Covington. So now you're watching the fight, and it doesn't matter if, it, if it's a jab, it doesn't matter if it's a body kick, it doesn't matter if it's a takedown or if it's defense to any of those things. You can't help but ask yourself, what would happen if that were Colby? And we all thought we were going to go into it to see how Colby's going to match up with Shemayev. Burns had other ideas. Burns came to fight. This was a remarkable display of will in front of everything else. There was a time when Burns, one of my favorite parts of the whole spot, Burns goes down, Shemayev is on top, and Burns is hurting. He falls in a bad position. He's already cut. He's got to be tired. And he just starts throwing up fists. Shemayev's raining down shots. They're all connecting. Burns never takes a minute to defend. He never covers. He never goes for He just starts throwing back whatever he's got, which happens to be this back fist to Chemayev coming down. It was, it, it was one of the great spots of the fight because that moment told the story of the fight. Make no mistake, Chemayev is as good as advertised. Some of you in your mind didn't understand what that meant. You thought there's a human being out there, and this will never go away, where the fan or the viewer will think that there's somebody that's so good they can put you on your finger and spin you around like a basketball. Like that belief will never end. And we're always in sports searching for that person. The reality is they don't exist. Chemayev was as good as advertised. He's never been to a second round. He went all three tonight. Oh, and by the way, Pushing the pace. That conditioning we were all promised was there. There was a visible size discrepancy between the two. I have a hard time saying that. You guys have seen it. I'm copying your narrative. It was out there. I saw it with my own eyes, though. The reason I have a hard time with that is Gilbert Burns is not a small 70 pounder. Chomayev is not a huge 70 pounder. And they both weighed in 24 hours ago at 170. How do you say one of them is bigger? And if we would have put them on a scale, they were both probably about 180 to 182 tonight. They were within a kilo, kilo and a half of each other. But it looks different, right? I mean, 260 on Francis Ngannou doesn't look like any of us if we got up to 260. There's a difference. So the mere fact that Burns was able to stuff those takedowns made Shemayev wrestle. Wrestling is not coming out and going for a double leg. That's a takedown attempt. Wrestling is when the double leg is stopped. What do you do off of that? It's called a reshot. It's called a scramble. It's called an attack to a reattack. That's wrestling. A double leg takedown to a finish is a wrestling technique. It's different. So Chemayev showed this. He showed that he had it. He was as good as advertised. Gilbert Byrne hit him with shots that would have put people down. Look, there was three points in this part when Chemayev went down. I do not believe there was an official takedown. I apologize. Knockdown for Burns. Three different times in the fight, Burns made contact, Shemaya dropped, right? If you guys didn't see the fight, you know how a fighter will like drop to his knee, but then he'll spring right back up. 
Like he'll he'll just come down like a trampoline and bounce right back up. And then you go, well, yeah, was that a knockdown or did he slip? Like I know he touched him, but I think he maybe he slipped three different times that happened in favor of Burns, but they weren't clear. Somebody keeps an official stat on this. I haven't gone and viewed it. I came here to visit with you guys. If we go look at that official stat, don't be surprised if it says zero knockdowns. It was just one of these weird moments, and it happened three times. That's very relevant because you don't know how to score that. If it's not a knockdown, you don't know how in the hell to score it. In these rounds, we're so close that if there was a knockdown, Burns not only would have won the round, Burns would have won the fight. And the whole time you're thinking, what would Colby do? And you do come away with some conclusions. You do come away with Colby's probably not going to get taken down, possibly never. You do also come away that Chemayev has damn good hands. And by the, by the way, the point I was attempting to make when I said there was contact and Chemayev went down and sprung back up is how good Chemayev's chin is. Chemayev is as good as advertised, guys. He has never seen a second round. He just took on the number two ranked guy in the world, and he won fair and square. Not only did he win fair and square, there was no tomfoolery. There was no he caught him. There was no Hail Mary punch that happened to land. There was nothing like this. It was a straight-up brawl, and Chemayev was bouncing around enjoying it. There's a number of fighters who have come through, some of them as red-hot as Chemayev, that understood aggression. They understood how to punch and kick their opponent, and they were athletic enough, and they were fast enough, and they looked good enough that they captivated your imaginations. But that's not fighting. That's aggression. Fighting is when the person does it back to you. Now how do you respond? Now where's your heart? Now what kind of character and preparation do you have? Shemayev passed. Shemayev was as good as advertised. You underestimated Gilbert. We all saw that. There's nothing else that we saw. And let's just tell the story accurately. Because Chemayev is apparently going to go into a fight with Colby, which just by proxy makes Blahal versus Luke the number one contenders fight. So we've got a number one contenders fight to look forward to. We have a massive fight between what will now be number two versus number one. Massive network for that. And we also have some marching orders for Kamar Uzman. What do we do with Burns? Turned out we disrespected him, and it turned out that we underappreciated him, didn't we? So what do we do for him? We can make that right. Let's make sure that what's next for Burns is something very big. Look, if you need a stand-in fight for Colby versus Chemayev, and that comes with some media and a little bit of participation to say thank you, let's give that to Burns. If you need a stand-in fight for Kamar Usman's next match, what do they call it? the guy in the batter's box, let's give that to Burns. Let's find something to get Burns. Let's make sure we keep Gilbert in main event or better. Right? Let's make sure that we get to co-main event or better. Let's make sure we do a very good job. It was an awesome fight. I just don't want anybody to miss what happened. We saw everything. We did not see aggression. We saw fighting. Hosma Chemayev is as tough as we were told. He is skilled, skilled as we were told. He is as good on his feet as he is at the in-between. And you got to look for it. But there was high-level submission techniques done by Gilbert tonight. There was an arm bar where everything was right, and Gilbert swung forward, and Chemayev pulled back. I don't want you to miss that, because Chemayev did show us a lot. But what looked like chaos, if you were getting carried away, you could have missed these things. Both guys showed everything. 170 pounds is, is very clear right now. Very clear what everybody's going to do. Colby versus Chemayev will be significantly different than what you saw tonight because now Chemayev will be booked for five rounds. All of this is tomorrow's problem. But we sure got something to look forward to. And we got a congratulations to give to Blahal versus Luque. And we got a champion of Kamar Usman who's getting his hand better and now we'll get one step closer to knowing what's next for him. Look, guys, 170 pounds was on display, not just the fighters tonight. This was awesome. It was remarkable. If you have a better word, a more complimentary word, tell me what it is and let's start using it.